Okay, guys, listen up, please. Guys? Guys? Kikuchi, stop stuffing around, mate. You've been doing enough of that lately on the mound. Now, who can tell me how many games we've won in the last month? Anybody? Here's a hint. You can count them on your fingers. Anybody? Hayashi? Sato? No? Seven. A pathetic, useless seven games. Now, we're in danger of missing the playoffs altogether here, never mind winning the division. So pull your fingers out of your backsides and start winning some games of baseball again. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to episode 14 of the Nippon Ham Fighters on the Baseball Journeyman. And today we are facing uh, the top of the league, Chiba Lotte Mariners, in what is a very, very important game for us. Because as you've just heard, things have not gone well for us since last episode. We have won 7 of 19 games. That is under 400, just above 350 as a percentage. Um... And you can see we've actually, top three are the playoffs, I believe, uh, for second and third of the wild cards. And we've actually dropped outside of that for now. Now, we have a game in hand, uh, so we, if we were to win, we should be able to get back up in there. But we've fallen away. We've fallen away massively. You can see on the um, on the thing here where the light blue, and we've gone from being a very good team to a, a, a above average team to just an average team, basically. So... This is this is important. Now, we don't have any injuries. Uh, we don't really have any excuses, which makes it very difficult for me to make them as a general manager. Um, but yeah, it's it's not quite going to plan. Excuse me. You can see Hayashi panic. Sato is second best or third best batting average at 250. That's not ideal. Um, yeah, it's 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 difficult for me to make excuses with what's going on. Uh, we'll have a quick look at, at the schedule and see exactly where it has been going wrong. Now, we left off... Um, there's a lot of red there, isn't there? We left off. Where did we leave off? It was, uh, just let me keep my bearings here. It was this one here, wasn't it? The Oryx win. So you can see where things have gone wrong. Now, what we have done is we have lost a lot of really tight games, which isn't ideal. It's still a loss, but we're, we're competitive and we are in games. So we got swept by the Golden Eagles, which is obviously far from ideal, given that they're one of the teams that we're battling with. Uh, we then lost two against SB uh, Hawks. I think they're Hawks, aren't they? Um, you can see two close games there. We did manage to win game three, which was important, obviously, because we didn't want to go six games without a win. Three runs, though, in the top of the ninth got the job done. It was Hector Leon with four RBIs in this one. Two for four with four RBIs. You can see uh, there the ninth, he hit a bases clearing double. Um, which obviously is is very, very nice. And Makamura, the catcher, got the other run with a home run. Uh, so that was um, getting us back to winning ways. We then won two of two against the Lions. Uh, you can see we won one in the 11th there, which was good to see. Then we played Chiba, and we lost in three close games. But the Bats, look at that, we scored two runs in three games. Bats going cold. Um, so that wasn't good. Then we played the Hawks, who of course are in the battle for the playoffs as well. And again... We lost two extra innings games, one of them there 1-0, and this was, I think, who was the pitcher in this one? Arihara went uh, eight innings, two hits, one walk, and didn't get a win, which is <laughs> slightly criminal. Um, yeah, but I mean, the bats, I mean, we got three hits in 11 games. When your pitchers are doing four hits in 11 innings, uh, 11, 11 innings, I should say, um, you know, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. So anyway, we lost, got swept by them. We then played Oryx. We lost the first game, and I was getting a little bit concerned bordering on angry <laughs> but we've won two in a row since then uh a 2-1 win to sneak past them then we played this game at home against Chiba we won the first game in extra innings we won the second game 10 to 6 so I'm hoping the bats have woken up because we're coming to this third game here needing another win quick look at the expanded standings uh and we can see them there our recent form I mean we've won four in a row so it doesn't tell you much before that does it uh but Hayashi and Panic are right up there in the league's batting averages uh Keo Mia the first baseman is a three-way tight at the top of the RBI counts uh Panic is up there for stolen bases um Maybe the one disappointment is Kiyomiya isn't up there for home runs, but he's only just off. I think he, I think he has 25 home runs, so he's not too far off. Um, Pitching-wise, Arihara is right up there in a number of categories, and you may not see behind my head here, but Jose, our uh, closer, is up there, 34 uh, saves, uh, and the leaders are on 36. So there's some high points for us. I think it's just everything in between, or everything below those high points that is what's letting us down a little bit. But it's a, it's a four-way tie or four-way battle, I should say, for the playoff spot. You could just as easily miss out as win the division right now. Um, and we need to make sure that we are, we're in that conversation. These are everybody's stats for the season. Um, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to say. Again, nobody's been really horribly disappointing. Um, it's just, 
yeah, we're just not quite... We're not pitching well and batting well at the same time. Pitchers are doing a good job and... The batters are letting us down a little bit. Here's the hitting side of things for the season so far. Uh, we've got a little bit of a problem at second base with both our second basemen in a slump, which isn't ideal. The disappointment for sure with the bat. He's on base percentage is okay at 333, but Con uh, Kondo is, I mean, he's on 4 million a year. He's one of our better, well, he's one of our better paid players. He's, we're going to have to, I think I was going to trade him um, away, but I think we now, we now definitely need to look to trade him away. He's just not earning that salary for us. I think maybe he needs to change as much as anybody else. Um, but yeah, so that's how things are shaping up for us with the bat. All right, let's go and check these lineups for our game against the Mariners. Okay, and this is it. It is Sato leading us off at first, uh, center field. It's Panic in left field batting second. Nomura, the designated hitter, bats third. Kiyomiya, the first baseman, cleans up. It is Hayashi batting uh, fifth. He's at third base. It is Yamazaki in right field for this one. He bats six. Hector Leon, the shortstop, bats seven. Kia Ka Kawakami at second base, bats eight. Cobra Kai, the catcher, bats nine. On the mound for us today is Enomoto. He is, of course, one of our young great hopes. Um... And he's having a fairly decent um, first season with us, which is which is good to see. Uh, and on the mound for them, we have uh, Tana, T Tanachi, uh, ERA of 287 this season. Uh, where are we here? Whip, 113, which is a little bit lower than ideally I'd like to see it. He's got a, a war of 2.1, a, a 135 ERA plus. So he is he's a good pitcher for them. Let's hope uh, Let's hope we get the better of him today, though. Certainly the matchups between the two sides looked quite even, didn't they? So it's going to be Kasai leading them off, batting 218 this season. Um, we're at home, though. We're looking for a sweep. To sweep them at this stage of the season would be a really, really, um, a really, really good uh, good place to be. They've swept us at their place, so we need to try and, and get them back for that one. Here we go with Enomoto. That is a ground ball. He springs off the mound. Should have a simple play at first, and that's one away, which is great to see. All right, in comes uh, Ogasaka, is it? Og Ogaswara. Anyway, he's batting 258 this season. One and one's the count with one out, no one on. And that is a ground ball over to first we go. And that is two away. An excellent start for the game here for Enomoto. In comes Nakayama, who's batting 243 this season. Oh, and two's the count on him. Can we finish things with a strikeout? Sit him down, son. No, it's a well hit ball through the left side of the infield. It's going to be a two out single for the Chiba Mariners. Brings up Yasuda, who is batting 288 this season. A first pitch swing. There goes the runner. Can we get in? Cobra Kai with the overthrow, and that is wonderfully done. And that'll end the innings. Well done, Cobra. And let's have a bat. Sato comes in, batting 258. Recently got his 500th career hit. So that's a nice little milestone for him. He's only 24. He's really young. Um, so he's on the on the the right path to have a really good career there. But um, unfortunately for him. That is a ground out for one away. In comes Panic now. Let's see what Panic can do. Two and two's the count, and he watches strike three go past for two away. And Namura comes in now, batting 252 this season. Two and one's the count on him. Can he get himself on base? Namura gets it up in the air, and that'll end the innings. And it's nil-nil after the first. And Amoto will come back up. In the should say to face Yosuda, a second year. Oh no, it's the same Yosuda, isn't it? Because he was uh, the runner got thrown out at second. It's a first pitch swing on this occasion. He has grounded that. Hector Leon has it over to first. We go, and that's one away. You love to see it. Uh, Nozaki comes in now, batting 239 this season. One that owes the count on him. He has grounded that to Hector Leon. It's fielding practice for him, and that is two away. And it's Hayashi coming in. Hopefully not as good as our Hayashi. He's batting 187. Two and two's the count with two out. No one on. That's a ground ball to first base. Kiyomiya has it over to first. That's a nice quick innings for the second one as well. And Amoto is looking on. Let's see what Kiyomiya can do. Batting 246 this season, but with 87 RBIs. He's hit that well, but unfortunately, it's gone straight to left field. And that's one away. Hayashi comes in. Batting 319. Been a really, really good player for us. He's on a 10-game hit streak as well. And he draws a walk to give us our first base runner of the game. Yamazaki comes in, batting 222. He had a really good game last time out. He'd had a little bit of a break out of the team. Unfortunately, on this occasion, he's hit into a double play, though. You muppet. And that'll end the second. We're really struggling to find someone consistently to play right field for us. But between Yamazaki and Kikuchi, we're just about, uh, just about getting it done. Dixon leads them off, pops it up, and speaking of uh, right field, that's going to be a catch out there for Yamazaki for one away. 
and Emoto now to face Mori, the shortstop, batting 187 this season. One and two is the count on him. There's a strikeout for Enomoto. Two away. And it's uh, Belioli coming in now, batting 254, their second baseman. Full count, and there's another strikeout for Enomoto. And we're through three, and Enomoto is having a good day. Hector Leon now comes in, batting 237 this season. He's very, very streaky as Hector Leon. And that's going to be a ground out to third. And one away. It's going to bring up Kawakami now, who's batting 175. Again, another guy that's either really good or really poor. And is he going to have a good day? Because he's got himself a first hit of the game for the Ham Fighters, a single up the middle. And that is excellent. Now, he's a threat of stealing bases as well. Cobra Kai comes in now, batting 280 this season. There goes Kawakami. They've read him like a book, and they've got him comfortably. Oh, it's only his third thrown out as well. That's annoying, isn't it? One or two away, sorry, now for Cobra Kai. One and one's the count. See if you can clear a fence for me, Cobra. That's a ground ball to third, and that will do it for the fire of the third. And it's still tied at zeros as Kasai comes back up. 0 for 1 today. 0 and 2's the count, and Amoto gets himself another strikeout. And it brings up Osagawa now, who is 0 for 1 today as well. Full count on him with one out. That is well hit, and that's going to be at least a double. Sato's there, Yamazaki's there. Can we keep it to just a double? We can. So a one-out double for the Mariners, and, well, that's a little bit of trouble now, isn't it? In comes Nakayama, who is a one-for-one one today, sorry. Two and two's the count, and that is going to score a run. Hits the wall on the full. We're lucky it didn't score two, but we fall behind on the back of a triple. An RBI triple for, what was his name? Yamanara or uh, Yama, Nakayama, sorry. And with one out, we're one down. There's a runner at third, and this is turning into a bit of a tricky inning for us. Yasuda comes in. He's 0 for 1. We could really do with a strikeout here. We don't get it, but that's just as good as the runner goes back to third. And that's two away now as Kiyomiya makes the play. And it's Nozaki who's 0 for 1 coming in. And this needs to be an out, Enomoto, please. That is a ground ball to Hector Leon. That should get it done for us. Oh, not the best throw, but it does. And that could have been worse. We do give up a run, though. We find ourselves one down, and it's Sato to lead us off 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing from Sato. Sato grounds it to first, and that's one away. You wouldn't know he has 500 career hits based on that, would you? It's Panic coming in now. 0 for 1 he is today. Another first pitch swing. Panic grounds at the shortstop. We could really do with uh, working these counts a little bit more, please, guys. And it brings up Namura now, who is 0 for 1. This guy has pitched 33, 36 pitches, and we're coming up to four innings. It's a full count, two out, no one on. Namura strikes out. But at least he made him work for that one, and that will do it for the fourth. We're 1-0 down. And it is Anamoto coming up against Hayashi, who is 0 for 1 today. 0 and 1 to the count. That is popped up. Sato out there should have that very comfortably. Panic's coming around as well. And Sato makes the play for one away. Dixon comes in now. He is uh, 0 for 1 today as well. Full count. That is hit to center field. Sato can't get to it. It's over his head and it's going to be a double for the catcher. And with one out we have ourselves a runner in scoring position again. And... We don't want this game starting to get a little bit out of hand for us. It's Murray coming in now. He's 0 for 1. 2 and 1's the count, and that should be out at first. The runner's going to get himself over to third, though. And with 2 away, we have a runner very much in scoring position for the uh, second baseman, Bella Lolly, who is... Uh, oh, he's going to walk him. Runners at the corners. Come on, Enomoto, mate. We need this out. Kasai comes in. 0 for 2 he is. 0 and 2's the count. And it's popped up. Yamazaki should get to that. Make sure of the catch, please, mate. He does. And we get out of that fifth innings without giving anything up. It's Kiyomiya coming in now. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 1's the count. Can he tie us with a swing of the bat? No, he cannot as he pops it up. And that is one away. It's going to bring up Hayashi now. Can he get something going for us? He walked, I think, last time up. 2 and 2's the count this time. Hayashi... Repeats the trick, pops it up to center field, and that's going to be two away. And we're going to be looking at Yamazaki now with two out and no one on to try and get us going here. One and two is the count. Yamazaki, has he tied it up? He's hit it well. He has sent it into the sprint. It's 1-1 and Yamazaki, 
a two out solo home run, 421 feet over right field, and we are tied at one, only our second hit of the game, but it's a hit that really, really counted, Yamazaki, the right fielder is the hero, it brings up Hector Leon now, 0 for 1 today, 2 and 2's the count, and Leon grounds at the second base, and that'll do it for the fifth, but we have tied her up, it's 1-1, and Enomoto comes back out to face Osagawa, who is one for two today. One and two is also the count on the leadoff man. Can we sit him down? Yes, we can. I whacked my knuckles off the desk. But I don't know if you heard that. That tickled. And uh, all right, it's uh, Nakayama now. He is uh, two for two today. He's already got an RBI. You've done enough work, mate. And that is going to be three for three as he pops one into center field for a one-out single. I think we're happy to see the back of him today, aren't we? It's uh, Yasuda now who's 0 for 2. 2 and 2's the count. And that is ripped down into right field. Now, I don't think it's going to score the runner. Yamazaki has it, gets it in. And we get it to the plate. Oh, he's going home. He's getting greedy. And we've got him at the plate comfortably. Well done, Yamazaki. Well done on the relay throw there as well. That would have been... Who's at second base today? It's uh, uh, Kawakami, isn't it? Excellent work, boys. That's two away. There is a runner at third. Nozaki to the plate. He's 0 for 2. 1 and 1's the count. And that is... Please catch that, Sato. He does comfortably. And that gets us out of the 6. That could have been a lot worse. We're tied at 1. Let's go have a bat, boys. Let's see what Kawakami can do. He's 1 for 1 today. It's a first pitch swing. He has got himself on base again. Now, of course, last time... He was... Uh, thrown out trying to steal second. Let's look after your, your base this time, please, mate. It's Cobra Kai. Oh, and one's the count. There goes Kawakami again. Is he going to get there? This time he is. All right, that's more like it. A six stolen base this season for Kawakami. It's 0-2 on Cobra Kai. Make that a full count, and Cobra Kai draws the walk. Well, he's done well to come to from an 0-2 count to get himself a walk there. Sato now, who's 0-2 today. Can he do anything but a double play? He lays down a bunt. Is it a good one? It is. One away. Runners to second and third. And we've got Penic, Nomura, and hopefully then Kawa, uh, Kiyomiya to try and drive in these runs. Panic, who's 0 for 2 today. Can he pop one into the outfield for us? He can. Now, is it deep enough? I don't know if it is. Kawakami is quick. He's trying to get home, and he is going to get there. Panic does enough. We get the lead. We're 2-1 up, 2 away with a runner at second, and it's Nomura who's 0 for 2 today. Can he drive in another run here? Full count, Nomura. Grounds at the shortstop, and that will end the innings, but not before we take the lead. We are now 2-1 up, going into the 7th, and Emoto to continue to Hayashi, who's 0 for 2. 2-1 two and one is the count, and that is going to tie the game, is it? Yes, it is. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Ah. Oh. 388 feet over right field. And in the top of the seventh, we're tied at two. And Emoto to continue now to Dixon, who is one for two today. It's another full count. Can he sit him down, please? No, he gives up a walk. And is Anamoto done? He is. Yuki comes in. He is uh, one of our better relief pitchers. Very, very... I've got high hopes for this guy, to be honest. So let's hope he has a good day for us. He's going to face Muri, who's 0 for two. First pitch swing. Muri looks to lay down a bunt. Can we get the runner at second? No, we can't. One away, but there is a man at second. All right. Come on, boys. Uh, Belly Lolly comes in. He's won 0 for 1 with a walk, I think. 2 and 1's the count. He has popped that up. Sato's there. Now, can we keep the runner at second? Sato's a good outfielder, and he does. So that's 2 away. Come on, Yuki. Let's end this. Kasai comes in. He's 0 for 3. 0 and 2's the count. Sitting down, Yuki. Come on, son. He does, and that gets us out of that. We are tied, though. We've lost our lead. We stretch tied at two. We're being out hit seven to three, so we can't really complain of be, uh, being tied. It's Kiyomiya at the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. He's got a first pitch swing. Kiyomiya, has he given us back the lead? This is what he does. It's 3 to 2. Kiyomiya with another home run this season. It is 383 feet over right field. That is home run number 26, I think, this season for him. And, well, that is career home run number 197 as well. It is number 26 for the season. 88 RBIs now as well. Hayashi comes in. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Three, and that's a full count. And Hayashi grounds at the first base. That's one away. 
It's going to bring in Yamaz uh, yeah, Yamazaki, who hit a home run last time up. Can he repeat the trick? Two and one's the count on him. Yamazaki grounds at the second, and that'll be two away. That's going to bring Hector Leon up now, who's 0 for 2. A full count on him. Two out, no one on. Leon has hit it well, but centre field is there and makes the play to end the seventh. But we have gone back in front. We have three runs on four hits. And it's Yuki now to continue our pitching effort against Osagawa, who is one for three today. Two and two's the count. Have him, Yuki. It's popped up. We've got two of the best middle infielders there, and it's Kawakami that makes the play. Two golden glovers. Look at that. Love the work. It is uh, Nakamura, who's three for three. You've had enough, mate. Sit him down, Yuki. Sit him down. There it is. All right, that's two away. And it's Yasuda coming in now, who is one for three today. It's a full count. Come on, Yuki. That's been popped up as well. Panic is there. He should have a simple catch. Oh, he's dropped it. Panic. Oh, dear. Are we going to pay a price for that as the runner goes to second with two out? Nazaki comes in. Come on, Yuki. Let's end this anyway. Let's end this anyway. Come on. It is. Oh, it's going to tie it up again, is it? Yamazaki gets it in. Oh, Yamazaki in right field for the second time today. Gets a man out of the plate. Wonderful, wonderful work. We get out of the eighth by the skin of our teeth with our lead intact. They bring on Onaka to have a pitch for them. His ERA is 140 this year. Kawakami, who is two for two today, will lead us off. Two and two is the count. And can he get himself on base for a third time? No, he cannot. And that is one away. It's going to bring up Cobra Kai now, who's 0 for 1 with a walk. 0 and 1 is the count as well. One out, no one on. Come on, Cobra. He grounds at the second. And that will be two away. And it doesn't look like there's going to be an insurance run for us here as Sato comes in. 0 for 2. One that knows the count. Come on, Sato. We got a sack bunt last time. This time he grounds at the shortstop. And we go to the ninth with a one-run lead. Now, is Jose coming out to try and get the save for us? He is. He has an ERA of 144. He's only given up 34, sorry, eight earned runs in 50 innings of work. Kawahara comes in the pinch hit for them, batting 240 this season. Two and two is the count. Come on, Jose. Come on, mate. There's a strikeout to start things off. Wonderful stuff. One away. Dixon now, who's one for two. One and two's the count on him. Come on, Jose. Oh, it's going to be fielded. Kawakami has it over to first. That's two away. They're down to their final out. We have a one-run lead. Mori to the plate. He's 0 for 2. 0 and 2's the count. Are we going to sweep the Mariners? Come on, Jose. You can do it. There it is. That's a huge win. Go on, ham fighters. Well, I think there is no doubt the star of the game today was Yamazaki with the home run and then throwing two guys out at the plate as well. He hasn't always been first choice for us this season. But I think he showed there that maybe, maybe he needs to be. That was a wonderful, wonderful defensive performance from him uh, and a home run to boot as well. You just, you love to see that, don't you? Quick look at the updated standings. And well, that is a massive, massive win. It really it puts us back up into the playoff places, or uh, the wildcard places anyway. And only four games back at the top of the division. It is ridiculously close, unlike the other division, which is pretty, it is done. Um... Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a tense end to the season. And what we will do is we will be back next time basically when there's a chance to clinch something. I don't know when that's going to be. It'll hopefully be before the end of the season. Maybe we can go on a little bit of a run now having got that five in a row we've won. So let's hope we can uh, we can keep this going. Um but yeah, that'll be it. that'll be it for today and next episode we'll be back to hopefully clinch a playoff spot whenever that may be. Uh so until then guys, I've been Aussie Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.